I thought about Jay and decided to head over and check on him. I took the train in my black homemade costume. The good thing about being a New Yorker is that no one cares about what you're wearing. As long as you do not bump into anyone, you are pretty much safe. I got out on Park Avenue and saw fire trucks and police cars everywhere. I imagined myself turning invisible, but I could not do it. I had behind a couple trucks, but there was no possible way to get to the Manny building. I kept trying to turn invisible and nothing happened. Then I heard a large crash and explosion, boom. I looked around and saw Jay in the air flying. He looked angry as he lifted cars from the street and threw them at his father's building and at first responders. He looked distraught, and I didn't know what to do. Then I heard a whisper, quiet your mind to fly. I looked around me. I wanted to know who was speaking to me, but then I saw another image in my mind of a man closing his eyes and flying. A helicopter arose and began to shoot at Jay. I decided that I needed to trust my inner voice. I closed my eyes and calmed my mind, in the midst of this battlefield. I began to feel myself becoming weightless. I began to take off from the ground. I opened my eyes, and I was flying. Flying felt so natural. I felt like I have done it millions of times, and I was coming closer to Jay. I yelled out, Jay what are you doing? You are killing people. He looked at me with strange serpent like yellow eyes. I was immediately taken aback. Jay was not himself, his skin appeared scaly and his teeth were sharper. Where I once felt concerned, I now felt fear. I pondered to myself, is this Jay or is it some kind of clone? A month ago, I would only have these sorts of questions in a sci-fi novel, and now I am flying, talking to what I think is my best friend who either needs to see a dermatologist or an exorcist. He began to sneer, and he said, you are a false Rudin. I am destroying the empire of this human being built upon lies and corruption. We will not tolerate injustice. Humanity requires proper control. Jay spoke with his voice but what sounded like maybe two other voices, a male and a female, with what sounded like a serpentine lisp. Chapter 4, You Never Forget Your First Burning Building As I tried to talk to him more, I heard a loud fluttering and I began to be pushed forward. I turned around and my mask pressed against my face tighter. I tried to shield my face against the dust. I looked up and saw a helicopter with a blue and white color. I heard a booming voice saying to send to the ground immediately or we will shoot you down. 